Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Dr. Sam, helping you get closer to great skin days. Now, I'm just back from a big conference in the States. You may have seen me and Dr. Dre hanging out over on Dr. Dre's channel. Um, but basically, I came back filled with knowledge and I wanted to share some of it with you guys. Now, one of the most interesting lectures, which was also one of the simplest, was by Dr. Zoe Dreloss, who is a legend in the cosmeceutical and nutraceutical space. And she gave this very straightforward lecture suggesting that we could all adopt some simple changes in our diets to eat for skin health. You might have heard of anti-wrinkle diets, you might have heard of low glycemic diets, but essentially she brought all those skin orientated um, and general health and well-being orientated sensible nutritional steps together and I thought I would share my take-home messages with you. So let's go through the seven things I try to eat on a daily basis. Now most of you will know that I prefer eating food in its natural state and cooking from scratch. I'm not a big fan of processed foods. And I think that when you really focus your mind on the foodstuffs that can make a big difference to both skin and health, it becomes very easy to try to incorporate those in your diet through the day. So foodstuff number one to start with is carrots. Eating your carrots um, is actually a thing full of carotenoids which are the precursor of retinoic acid which of course we all know is super important for skin health. It's a great skin food and Dr. Zoe Dreloss recommended eating two-thirds of a cup a day. Not too much of a stretch. So that's number one, eat your carrots. Number two, eat a tomato a day. Now tomatoes are brimful of all sorts of skin loving uh, ingredients and um, chemicals, but the main one being vitamin C and lycopene is also present in tomatoes. So great for skin health. We know vitamin C is essential for collagen assembly, for neurotransmitters in our brains, and they're also part and parcel of our immune system. So fundamental must be replaced every single day. Food stuff number three, olive oil is going to help you both in terms of its vitamin E consumption, but it will also help you absorb other nutrients from other foods. So drizzle some olive oil over your tomato. Number four, guess what? Avocados, that's probably no surprise, but half an avocado a day is going to deliver loads of goodness, including vitamin E, including carotenoids like lutein um, and good fats. So half an avocado, combine that with your tomato and your olive oil, salad's looking pretty good, right? Number five, blueberries. Now blueberries are an absolute powerhouse when it comes to antioxidants. So we're all very caught up in supplementation, but the reason I say eat your food from scratch is because there's so much more complexity to the antioxidants that you'll find in natural foods. Blueberries contain something like 13,000 different phytochemicals in precise quantities. So a cup full of blueberries should be an absolute essential if you wanna eat for skin and general health. Um, one of my favorite ways to incorporate those into overnight oats um, with some almond milk and some yogurt for a really delicious, fiber-rich breakfast. Food number six, and I might well add it to those overnight oats, is an apple, the humble apple. Now, you must eat that with your skin on, skin on for skin food, because something like 8,000 different chemicals that are helpful um, in terms of your health and well-being existing in the humble apple. So obviously a good source of vitamin C too, but take that apple, grate it up, mix it in with your oats and your blueberries, and you really are starting the day on a really strong basis. Now, particularly in summer, number seven comes into play. So foods that are rich in lycopene, now one of the best is watermelon, but you can also seek out other orange and red foodstuffs. So tomatoes have lycopene, papaya, guava, um, strawberries, they all contain um, lycopene, which is really helpful in protecting skin from ultraviolet damage. Um, plus they're delicious too. So those are things that I really think about building into my um, everyday eating habits um, on the background of a good quality protein um, based diet. So I think chicken, yogurt um, and cheese rather than milk, butter and red meat as the sort of fundamental proteins in my diet. I look for low glycemic index carbohydrates, so brown rice, sweet potato rather than white rice and white potatoes. 
And then I think about supplements that I think that are difficult to get without really struggling to consume large quantities of certain foods. So I always supplement with vitamin D all year round, you probably know that. Um, I think about getting omega-3s, organic flaxseed is a great source. Um, and I think about taking a good quality mineral supplement, and I like Solgar for that. Things to avoid, there's no need to drink water excessively, there's zero evidence um, that I've come across for really adding much to health benefits. Obviously drink to satisfy thirst, but don't consume liters and liters of water. It's not gonna help skin hydration, eating your good fats are. Avoid fried foods, anything that lovely caramel crispy coating, that means you're just encouraging glycation of your collagen and obviously having a negative impact on other important organs too. So minimize fried foods and avoid your high glycemic carbohydrates, as I said before. So there you have it. That is my very top line overview approach to how I eat for skin health and a grown up glow. Tell me about your favorite eating habits for gorgeous skin. And if you like this video, please subscribe. Bye for now.